Welcome back, guys, to Light channel. Today, we'd like to talk about a logarithmic scale and the regular one. Let's dive in. Any question, I uh, recommend you go into Investopedia. Now, this is a source where you can find out almost all uh, answers to all your questions about uh, trading and financial markets. So it's totally for free, a really, really useful source or, or Binance Academy. Today, I would like to show you on examples the difference between the logarithmic scale and the regular one. The main difference on regular chart, you can find out the changes by uh, price on the right uh, side, you know, and on the logarithmic scale, you can find out the change with percentage. And this is a great example on NVIDIA, this one, logarithmic price scale example. So this is NVIDIA. So we got a chart, logarithmic scale, and from 20, to $40, it's 100% price change. And the price between 100 to 120, it's only 20%. That's why the price looks not so volatile, but from 100 to 200, it's the same 100%. So for example, we can open the chart of BLX, this one. If you don't know what is BLX, it's a Bitcoin liquid index. It's a whole history of the Bitcoin. So yes, this is how the Bitcoin chart looks like on a regular scale. And so sometimes we take a look, wow, it's a crazy pump, it's a crazy dump, it's a crazy pump, it's a crazy dump. So no, 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 Bitcoin can't move higher or can't drop lower than 15K, for example, or can't drop lower than 4K, it's impossible. Guys, firstly, on a financial markets, everything possible and i would like to show you just a few examples also if we go to logarithmic scale how to switch you go into settings here and press logarithmic this is absolutely the same chart of bitcoin but logarithmic scale and here's a price in october it's on 10 one cent yes one cent for bitcoin on regular chart we barely can find uh, this uh, price because it looks like uh a flat line, you know, but the same October, you can find out the lowest point was one cent. So let's go back to logarithmic scale and you can take a look. We move like a, like a rainbow, like everybody drove these rainbows for Bitcoin. So we'll go always only up forever. So now you could find out a lot of uh, charts which uh, draw something like this one, you know. So we got to support this one, bounce, 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 and we can move like always in this way and only up. But what if? the logarithmic scale even a logarithmic scale move like this one of course it's always about the not only the charts it's always about an asset a human progress because if uh, somebody believe in this asset why we have to move like this one we can move higher and yes bitcoin bitcoin can become like uh less volatile for example uh, because uh, we will not see some crazy pumps even on the price or even on percentage. This pump doesn't look uh, some like crazy, right? But in percentage, it's uh, it was absolutely the same move. From uh, November 2022 till this top, Bitcoin made 374%. Going back to regular chart, absolutely the same percentage. Of course, logarithmic scale can give you the wider picture so you will understand the price movement in general of some asset, but anyway, at the end, we work with the price and possibilities. So everyone who think you have to just switch some asset to logarithmic scale, and you will see the potential infinity move only up forever. I would like to show you the two charts, just the two example. Here's a zoom. Yes, this is a regular chart of zoom. You remember that a hype around the zoom at a COVID dump. Here, here's a crazy pump, December 19, Everybody started investing in a Zoom because of lockdowns. And October 2020, we drop it down. So the people start selling this at the stocks. And if you think on logarithmic scale, the picture looks totally different here. Logarithmic scale. Absolutely the same story. We move up and down. The price matter, you know. So the price was, no matter it's logarithmic or the regular one. Around 500, we drop it down to 55. The people who are looking at the Bitcoin, they think, no, we have to move only up forever or at least in a sideways. We can't move like this one. Drop it down in the next cycle, for example, in the next bar market, lower than 14K. Of course, it's possible. Everything depends on asset. Here's a 
Evergrande. If you heard about uh, Evergrande, you know this story. Crazy good perform from Evergrande uh, from November 8. Pretty insane rally and then collapse in October 17. It's a regular chart here from uh, $32 Still 16 cents. Somebody can tell me no on a logarithmic chart, it uh, doesn't look so uh, bad. Here is logarithmic chart. Yes, we got a like parabolic move up the same way we can drop down. Why not? No matter it's logarithmic scale or an, our basic one. This is the Luna parabolic move up and crash it down. On the regular chart, it's looked like some craziness. Like, no, this uh, coin never recover back. If we go back to logarithmic scale, you can find out. Everything looks not so bad, right? But the problem anyway with the price, this is a FTT, FTX. This is a top $85. We drop it down to, let's say to $1. We go into logarithmic scale. On logarithmic scale, everything looks not so bad, right? So we are not dropping to 50 cents because from 50 cents, this one, to this top, it's around 100%. So looks like not a big deal, right? But uh, from $2 recover to uh, $85, it can took, uh, mm, let's say, 4,000%. No matter, it's a regular chart or a logarithmic. So guys, the prices matter. And yes, I made a video about a SIA coin. Uh, so I mentioned my idea and one guy uh, shared the uh, logarithmic scale. So this is the same chart, SIA coin on a weekly time frame. This one, this is chart with regular. This is a chart of uh, SIA coin uh, with logarithmic scale. On logarithmic scale, it looks like we have to break it out by classic TA. We have to break it out this rejection, retest it going higher to $1, $3 or so. So looks promising, right? Uh, but absolutely everything the same with the price. So no matter it's a logarithmic scale or a basic one. The people trying to find out the confirmations of their idea and think some of people wrong, I'm right. Uh, it's not a game about right or wrong. We work with the price, no matter what scale will you use. So this is the same uh, lower low. So here is November 15. The lowest price was 0 0.401. Absolutely the same percentage up. So this was a crazy perform, right? So if we use, for example, from this one, it was a real, really crazy perform from Sia Coin. Uh, but on a logarithmic scale, it's just easy to um, use a magnet, for example. So you don't, don't need to zoom out, uh, zoom out and uh, add the started point, right? And the same percentage we made uh, this right. So this is a current situation. So absolutely everything the same. Guys, here, here was a lowest point, December 2022, we made 960. So this was a lowest point uh, December 2022. We made the same percentage. And this is not a question about which chart is correct. And if someone use the logarithmic scale and this chart looks like uh, it's not a big deal to breaking out something like this one, retest and going to even $1 based on some technical analysis, you have to understand we work with the price and we work with supply and the market cap because the supplies matter and if technically this coin looks like we go into one dollar or two dollar you have to go to drop sap take a look at the realistic data so the circular supply 56 billion it's simply to reach uh, one dollar we have to reach 57 billion market cap at the highest point of the market cap it was 2.4 billion that's a big deal and no matter what scale do you use it's not always about a chart or about some instrument it's about a price and the situation in the market in general so we can't compare for example to Solon 17 for some coin and uh, to Solon 24 for some coin based on the possibilities we can drop it down once again to sweep this liquidity pool why not why we can't drop like this one. Guys, everything possible. So guys, I recommend you go into Investopedia. I will leave this link on the description below so we can go and double check. So we'll understand the basic information about a logarithmic scale and the difference between the regular one and the log one. And which one to use, it's only up to you. There is no, this one is right, this one is wrong. 
this is just a tool, this like just an instrument for analysis. So guys, I hope you like this video. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button. Don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.